It is a great satisfaction to greet you and I hope you find yourself well. In today's video we will talk about the following. How long does it take men who leave you to regret? Today we are going to talk about how long it takes a man who ends a relationship to regret his decision to leave you. But first I want to quickly answer the question that this is actually about. In my opinion, I think the most likely time frame for a dumping man to regret his decision is around 3 to 4 months after the breakup, assuming a few things happen first. 1. Historically, it is challenging to find data on the length of time it takes to get an ex back. So I turned to research, and here are the answers. According to research, around 40 to 50% of couples get back together after a breakup. A recent study found that it takes an average of 5.2 months for an ex to get back after a breakup. A survey of 260 men found that it takes an average of 3.46 months to get back together with an ex-girlfriend after a breakup. 77% of men in the survey reconciled with their ex-girlfriends within four months of the breakup. If you average all the reputable investigations, there is a 43.5% chance that your ex will come back without doing anything. Most of them, about 70%, do not return. But I actually find it worrying. In fact, all of the results are worrying, as none are supported by research that is based on real science. 2. Using the Socratic method to make a good guess. Socrates proposed this method based on the belief that to understand the true essence of something, we need to ask questions or state a thesis. Then meticulously scrutinize the premises to determine their validity. If an exception to a premise arises, we must refine it for precision. Repeating this process until no exceptions are found probably means that we have arrived at a truth, or at least a general principle. This means that in recent years, most people I've researched tend to have a core wound that makes them recoil from anything that threatens their independence. With this assumption, we can gain insight into why they react the way they do. This probably implies that the actual time it takes to get your ex back could be longer, possibly 6 to 7, or even 8 months. 3. Understand when he will miss you. Another piece of the puzzle is consistent research suggesting that avoidant people probably won't regret or miss you until you're over them or at least seem like you are. That's why, during discussions about the no-contact rule, I emphasize the importance of adopting an improvement mentality and really moving forward. Doing this lowers the avoidant person's defenses, making it more likely that they will miss you. 4. The nature of repentance. Generally speaking, there is a certain cause and effect pattern that we have observed among people who got their ex back. First, the ex starts to miss you. Then she begins to regret the decision to separate. Finally, he takes steps to reunite. It is crucial that you understand this concept. Your ex needs to miss you first. However, a common mistake I see is that people often confuse an ex who misses them with an ex who regrets his decision. While it's perfectly normal for an ex to miss you, some other factors must align for them to regret their decision. Your ex usually starts missing you about two or three months after the breakup. However, as I mentioned above, it is vital to consider all the pieces of the puzzle. So, first of all, we know that most of the exes we've studied are avoidant. Second, remember that avoiders won't regret it or miss you until you've gotten over them or seem to have gotten over them. Therefore, his regret depends a lot on your ability to overcome it. If that element is missing, then everything I tell you will not be as effective. Additionally, it is crucial that you accept the concept that an ex usually misses you first, then regrets the decision, and then takes steps to reconcile. Therefore, even if she tells you that it takes between two and three months for an ex to miss you after the breakup, she needs to reach these stages to truly miss you. However, don't forget that missing you and regretting the breakup are not the same thing. Absence usually precedes regret. Your ex needs to experiment and sit with the feeling of missing you for a while before she regrets it. So, I would say that around 3 or 4 months after the breakup, assuming all the other factors we've discussed are present, is when your ex is most likely to regret leaving you. You are an essential part of what we do on this channel, for this reason, we keep an eye on what you need, and if it is your desire to recover your ex correctly and effectively, you must click on the link below.